Hello. So this is a video on uh, the Flash Surface Adapter and uh, the Astrophysics Mark 1 adapter from Rainbow. So the tripod that you're seeing here is uh, the Lost Mandy Folding HD tripod. And uh, you know this, I've tried this setting with uh, this, this tripod and also a permanent pier. And uh, what this flat surface adapter helps you do is, you know, it helps you attach to any flat surface. And in this case, I'm treating the folding H2 tripod itself as the flat surface. And uh, you know, the tripod has holes that line up with the Mark 1 flat surface adapter um, plate. But one catch is uh, the holes um, are not perfectly sized for it. So as you can see here, um, it's not the perfect sized pole, but you know, I've reached out to Lost Mandy and Astrophysics and uh, they just suggested I just go ahead and do this and it shouldn't affect any flexure or stability. And it has, and, it, and, it, and that's true. You know, I had good experience with this. So I just wanted to uh, share uh, with you folks. So what I have done is, you know, I've got the flat surface adapter uh, bolted on to the Los Mandy folding H2 tripod with these three screws. And uh, I then have a Eagle pier extension that goes on top. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty stable uh, with uh, the TOA 150 that I have on top. Uh, it's a pretty long and heavy OTA and uh, no, it's it's it's, it's uh, held up quite good, so I'm quite happy with this setup. Um, I do have the super mount, and the performance is comparable, so it's effectively effectively the same. Except that the super mount is much more portable um, than the folding H2 tripod. This is, as you can see, is uh, almost in a semi-permanent setup. Um, I just roll this out. Um, and uh, drop the mount. Mount, I keep it indoors. Uh, this one, I just uh, push it to the side and leave it out. And I uh, just come and drop the mount on top and uh, line up the holes with the Mach 1 adapter uh, from Rainbow. And uh, another Mach 1 adapter uh, obviously attaches to the Rainbow mount. So I'll show that in a minute. So I just drop the mount into that cup. Uh, and uh, you know, as you can see, it, it's, uh, it swivels, swivels uh, smoothly. And uh, if you care about lining up the tripod legs with the mount, then uh, it's possible to do so. So in this case, uh, yeah, there we go, it's lined up. And uh, you know, the whole holes have a range of motion and you're able to uh, um, have enough clearance for you to just uh, screw it in and hold it tight now it's uh, all set so this is the Mark 1 you know, adapter plate that goes on uh, under the mount and that lets you attach to any of the Mark 1 uh, piers and tripods so yeah that's about it let me know if you have any questions uh, just wanted to do a quick video of uh, know how, how this option works uh, obviously, you know, this is a little bit more hodgepodge than uh, the super mount. The super mount works out of the box, but this is another option. It's extremely sturdy and heavy, almost equal to a permanent pier, but uh, semi-permanent. So I just wanted to call out uh, how this option works in case somebody is interested. Thank you.